It is time for the Nebraska Dairy Update. I'm Chad Moyer. Today we get an update from Midwest Dairy and uh, the Research and Innovation Manager with Midwest Dairy joins us today. She is Sydney Herr. Uh, Sydney, thanks for visiting with us here today. I think this is the first time we've had you on the uh, Dairy Update program, so maybe give us a little bit of background information. Tell me about this position at Midwest Dairy and how it fits in with the overall goals of the Dairy Checkoff. Yeah, thanks, Chad. Thanks for having me today. Um, So I am the Research and Innovations Manager at Midwest Dairy. I have been in this role since January of 2023, so we are coming up on one year. Um, A lot of my work revolves around the Midwest Dairy Foods Research Center and our incubator projects. So specifically today, we will be going over the incubator projects. Um, As of right now, we only work with one incubator, and it is the Hatchery Chicago So in 2022, we launched our first partnership with them and then also went ahead and did another partnership with them this year. This is the first year I've been part of the partnership. Midwest Dairy First Partnered, they are one of the, they're one of North America's largest food and beverage incubators, um, which they are nonprofit and they support local entrepreneurs to build and grow successful food businesses and help cultivate job opportunities. Um, from all backgrounds in the Chicago area. Um, So together, we host a pitch contest for the last two years. The first year, we awarded one winner with a six-month kitchen to free access to a commercial kitchen space located in Chicago. Um, And then once I started this year, we decided to expand our partnership, um, and we awarded two winners this year with commercial kitchens. As before, the kitchen is open to established businesses. Um, They must use 30% dairy in their ingredients um, based on the the contest overall. Um, I would compare it to Shark Tank a little bit. I got to sit in on the contest this year. Um, So they had five, they get a bunch of applicants come in and then the uh, hatchery narrows it down to five. And they get to pitch their products to a panel of judges, um, which is super cool. I was able to sit in on it this year. I was not a judge, but I got to watch. Um, And then the judges do a little deliberating, and then they decide um, a winner. And luckily this year, we awarded our first place winner with a 12-month kitchen. And our second place winner uh, received a six-month kitchen. So um, it was awesome. They've always been wonderful to work with and uh we're looking to expand uh our incubator projects across the midwest dairy region so hopefully in 2024 there is more exciting news to come on that all right could you tell us about the two winners from this year like you say there was a a first place and a second place can uh, just give us a an idea of flavor if you don't mind the the pun uh who won this year's contest yeah absolutely so this year was baker cookies uh, Lexa Ryan is the founder of Baker Cookies. She's located in the heart of Chicago. Um, they really pride themselves on offering real butter, fair trade chocolate, clean ingredients, flaky sea salt, and elevated flavors. Um, they really hounded in on envisioning sourcing butter locally from Midwest dairy farmers and helping assist with research and development um, within our industry. So, Um, very, very established, great foundation to her business, and they are located in the heart of Chicago. So she was our winner. Um, Cookies were absolutely amazing. We got to uh, test all the food. And then Howdy Breakfast Buns was our second-place winner. Um, They specialize in Texas sketch-style kolaches with a unique milk bread-style dough, They're very high dairy content. Um, They're currently sold in 35 cafes and bars. Uh, They attend street festivals, farmer's markets, and even um, uh, Lollapalooza, which is a music festival located in the heart of Chicago. So um, they're very very well-grounded as well. So we are happy to have both of them in our kitchen spaces partnered with the hatchery. All right, very good. So like you say, a couple of, sounds like a, a couple of great businesses, obviously utilizing dairy products uh, extensively. I guess kind of bring this back to the work of the checkoff. Why is something like this important to be connected to in your mind? 
essentially we're advancing dairy research, and that is a key strategy of dairy checkoff. Um, this contest allows checkoff to fuel dairy innovation, and Midwest Dairy funds research efforts that solve industry challenges and partner with those that drive demand for dairy. So I guess if you'd like to follow along, there's a couple of websites. TheHatcheryChicago.org is is a website where you can connect with and, and see where this contest took place. Of course, MidwestDairy.com has got a lot of great information to follow on as well. Again, that's Sydney Hur. She is a research and innovation manager with Midwest Dairy. That is today's Nebraska Dairy Update. I'm Chad Moyer reporting.